Have you ever pondered over the rightful home of the Parthenon marbles? A collection of timeless beauty, these sculptures and architectural fragments once adorned the Parthenon, a temple on the Acropolis in Athens, Greece. A testament to the grandeur of ancient Greek civilization, their intricate detailing is a sight to behold. However, their journey from the Acropolis to the British Museum was not a voluntary one. In the early 19th century, Lord Elgin, the British ambassador to the Ottoman Empire, took them away. They have been on display in the British Museum ever since, thousands of miles away from their original home. Greece, their motherland, has been demanding their return for years, arguing that they were wrongfully taken. The debate over the rightful home of these precious artifacts has been ongoing for decades. The Parthenon marbles debate is not just about rightful ownership, but also about safeguarding cultural heritage. This centuries-old tug-of-war between Greece and the British Museum is steeped in history, culture, and a quest for justice. On one side, we have Greece, the birthplace of the marbles. They argue that the marbles were illegally taken, and their return is not just about reclaiming stolen property, but about restoring a piece of their cultural identity. The marbles, they say, are fragments of their heritage, integral to the narrative of their past. They believe that the marbles belong in the land where they were created, under the Mediterranean sun, not thousands of miles away in a London museum. On the other side, we have the British Museum, which asserts that the marbles are part of its universal collection. They argue that the marbles, like all other artifacts in their collection, are held in trust for the benefit of all humanity. The marbles, they say, have been on display for two centuries, free for the world to see, learn from, and appreciate. In the past few years, there have been growing concerns about the safety of the marbles in the British Museum. The theft of several objects has raised questions about the security measures in place. Some argue that the marbles would be safer in Greece, in a museum built specifically to house them. Others believe that the marbles as part of the British Museum's universal collection should remain in London. They argue that this allows people from all over the world to see them, promoting a shared understanding and appreciation of our collective cultural heritage. The debate over the Parthenon marbles is complex and multi-layered, intertwining issues of legality, morality, and cultural preservation. Each side has valid arguments, and finding a middle ground has proven to be challenging. But one thing is clear, this isn't just about a set of ancient sculptures. It's about history, identity, and the value we place on our shared cultural heritage. The debate is complex, and finding a middle ground has proven to be challenging. In 2023, a new development stirred the waters of this long-standing debate. George Osborne, the chairman of the British Museum Trustees, proposed an intriguing offer, a possibility of temporarily returning the Parthenon marbles to Greece. But there's a catch. This return would be an exchange for other ancient artifacts that have never graced the UK before. A fascinating proposition indeed. This offer has sparked a new wave of discussions. It's significant because for the first time, the British Museum seems willing to entertain the idea of returning any part of the marbles to Greece, even if it's just temporary. It's an olive branch, an indication of thawing tensions, a sign of potential compromise. Yet it's important to remember that this is a temporary offer. The specifics, such as what Greece would provide in return, remain unclear. This offer, though not a permanent solution, indicates a shift in the British Museum's stance. The fate of the Parthenon marbles remains uncertain. The implications of George Osborne's offer are both intriguing and complex. For the first time, there's a glimmer of hope that these ancient artifacts could return home, even if just for a short period. But it also raises questions. What would Greece offer in return? And would a temporary return satisfy those who believe the marbles belong in Greece? The future of the Parthenon marbles is not just about their physical location. It's about the preservation of cultural heritage, about acknowledging past wrongs, and about sharing global history. It's about creating an environment where these historical treasures can be appreciated by all, be it in London, Athens, or elsewhere. As we ponder these issues, we must remember the importance of dialogue and compromise. As the debate continues, 
it is clear that the ultimate goal is to ensure the preservation and appreciation of these magnificent pieces of history.